There's a cop who shot a student during a school drill by accident. Let's put up his picture. Let me give you background to this insanity. An investigation is now underway in Vermilion County, Indiana. Deputy accidentally fired a gun, shot a high schooler. Indiana State Police have identified the deputy as Tim Despinet, a 19 year veteran with the county sheriff's office. Okay, you see him, right? Right. He has now been placed on administrative leave, which is a standard procedure after a shooting. In a news release Thursday, Indiana State Police said the shooting happened around 9.30 a.m. at the county high school in Clinton. The deputy was speaking to a class about law enforcement and law enforcement scenarios. During the instruction, the deputy accidentally discharged his service weapon and hit a student in the classroom. The student was given medical assistance and taken to a hospital with what ISP said are injuries not considered life threatening. Um, and according to the report, it was likely a graze. Now, obviously, the student could be dead or seriously injured, or other students could have been injured as well. Uh, how did this happen? Who does a training with a gun not on safety? You're an officer, been an officer for many years. I guarantee this if, let's say, a regular citizen, did something like that and it was on accident, they will go to jail. The reason is because we would determine the action to be so grossly negligent that even though you did not have mans rea, you did not want to commit a crime. Your gross negligence is enough for us to charge you because that's foreseeable. You have a loaded gun, not on safety, around children and you're horsing around. Just because you are the police should not create an immunity for from you shooting children. All right, there's more. Uh, the high school was on lockdown due to the abundance of emergency personnel in the building. Dave Chapman, let's put him up. So Dave is the superintendent of the uh, school system. Uh, and. The high school senior that was grazed by the bullet, the male student described his pain as a sting. Chapman told WTWO TV the shooting occurred in a popular vocational law enforcement class that's taught by deputy sheriffs from the county sheriff's office. The county sheriff Mike Phelps requested that the state handle the investigation. State police sergeant Matt Ames said they will be interviewing the deputy. And students who were in the classroom at the time of the shooting. Once that investigation is complete, the findings will be turned over to the county prosecutor's office for review. Um, so let me say this, uh, obviously this is likely not an intentional shooting, okay? Now I say that, now damn it, I've been proven wrong before. But I'm going to give this guy the benefit of the doubt, he did it on accident. Okay, there, there still should be a penalty. Uh, and as I said before, if a civilian did something like this, there would be an immediate criminal penalty because you decided not to engage in a proper protocol, safety protocol around children and the danger you created was actually foreseeable. Uh, but I'm glad I'm able to talk to a real attorney uh, who can give some insight into this. This to me looks very negligent to have this level of, I don't know, an abandonment of safety protocols in front of children. What are your thoughts? I mean, it's absolutely negligent. And the fact that the police department is not immediately firing him, I'm not yeah. surprised because they, you know, they don't want to come out and immediately say, because they could be liable too, because he's an officer of their department and say, you know, we know that what he did was wrong, you know, we, we want to distance ourselves from him. That being said, yeah, I mean, this was a negligent act. You're, first of all, you're supposed to be training kids. Um, you know how to react in an active shooter situation. You're supposed to be training kids, you know, about gun safety, and you're in the school, and now you shot a child. So now, so now, not only do these children have the fear of uh, an active shooter coming into their school, they have the fear of even engaging in the training to prevent that, or you know, to protect themselves in the event that that happens. Because now you've given them this trauma by shooting a student while teaching them how to not get shot by an active shooter. I mean, this country is is just a, a joke when I think yeah. about it in retrospect, but I. 
right? Uh, yeah, I mean, the, they're saying they have to do this investigative investigation on their part. That makes sense uh, as far as liability goes. But at the end of the day, anyone with eyes and anyone who's heard the story knows that he did it and knows that he should be fired, if not, you know, gone to jail. Which I think that there should, you know, the family should pursue civil penalties if they're able to, um, or you know, there should be criminal penalties uh, yeah. put in place because. You, it's just wrong. I mean, there's no other way to put it. What he did is wrong. Yeah, it's extreme, obviously. I'm glad, I'm very happy no child was actually killed or hurt more seriously.